The Department of Clinical Genetics of the Erasmus Medical Center is a large department, 250 people work there, and we combine clinical care, uh, laboratory diagnostics and, uh, and research. And that combination gives a very strong impact on the work we do. Most of our work focuses on neurological disorders, on congenital malformations, on cardiovascular diseases, and also very important is the prenatal diagnostics. The other thing which is uh, unique for our department is that we have brought the functional genomics into our diagnostics. We had one case which was particularly challenging. It is about a boy, 20 years old boy, with multiple congenital anomalies and developmental um, brain disorder. And there was not yet a syndrome describing the complex of, of, of his problems. Now, as you don't know what for diagnosis he has, then you also know uh, ja, how he will develop. She was always a bit angstig. What will there be more? By whole exome sequencing, we identified a homozygote mutation in INTS1. We identified two more families with the same identical mutation. At that point, we were sure from the functional side and from the clinical side that the INTS1 mutation was the cause of the disease. We were very excited ja, dat er nou toch iets gevonden is. Ook een opluchting, omdat we eigenlijk weten we nu wat hij heeft. We hoeven niet meer bang te zijn dat er nog andere enge dingen nog bij komen en dat er weer iets ontdekt wordt. The toolbox we have is getting bigger and bigger, so we can do far more than we could 10 years ago. But the data we get is enormously complex. For that, you really need a large team who has expertise in many different fields. And that's why we set up these multidisciplinary expertise groups. The knowledge on cardiovascular disorders is like a big black box and um, we don't really know much about the cause and the uh, prognosis of these disorders. Therefore we uh, use uh, the input of all the specialists uh, involved in the care for patients with cardiovascular disorders like the cardiologist and the vascular and thoracic surgeons, the pathologist, the radiologist and of course the geneticist. For aortic aneurysm patients it's helpful for us as a surgeon to know whether or not there is a genetic basis for their disease. Exact genetic diagnosis helps us in making the best choices for patients whether or not they need a prophylactic operation to treat their aneurysm. By getting the samples from the thoracic surgeon, we make RNA profiles of both healthy tissue and um, aneurysmal tissue. We can see new pathways that are involved in uh, the etiology of aneurysm um, disease. Earlier we found, uh, we found mutations in the SMAT3 gene and by identifying the gene, we made a special approach for patients with SMAT3 mutation. Finding genes is, is becoming more and more uh, common, so we try to use our genetic data to come up with therapies. We are looking for genes involved in Parkinson's disease and other movement disorders, and uh, uh, in this research we also found a gene involved in a disease termed uh, paroxysmal exercise-induced dystonia. And this disease causes a defect in the metabolism of the amino acid valine, and uh, we've been able to show by mass spectrometry uh, elevation of the toxic metabolites that uh, these mutations are disease causing. In the field of neurological disorders and movement disorders there is very little you can treat at the moment and this is one of the very first examples where a specific molecular alteration has led to the possibility of a specific therapy based on the molecular alteration. The multidisciplinary expertise groups we have in our department bring together doctors and the researchers and that gives you the possibility to do things which most labs cannot do. I'm part of the gastrointestinal group and our research actually aims at understanding the molecular mechanisms involved in the development of several uh, congenital intestinal disorders. We use in vitro assays and we also have an in vivo model that is the zebrafish. For each prong, we have a transgenic uh, line uh, where all the enteric neurons are fluorescently labeled. The ultimate goal of our research is actually to, uh, to come up with a therapy for, the, for each prong patient by developing uh, inducible pluripotent stem cells from uh, patient skin biopsies. 
One of the teams there, the prenatal diagnostic team, were one of the three labs which were selected to be involved in the non-invasive prenatal test uh, study, for which we now are screening over 20,000 pregnant females. We want to offer more immunogenetic tests. At the cyst fear that if we do this, that people will not think anymore about taking the test because it's so difficult to grasp. We need to determine whether this is true or not on a scientific basis. We are looking into a model which focuses more on the deliberation process and we are building a scale in which we can measure deliberation. So far we have learned that the so-called unexpected findings, other than trisomy 21, 18 or 13, that people can handle them when the genetic counselling is done in a very appropriate way and we are learning the most appropriate way to do this. Potentially, the impact of our work can be enormous. Clearly, we are going towards a personal uh, treatment based on your DNA profile. We also have to keep in mind that we gain a lot of knowledge, but what kind of information do people want? That's something we really should pay attention to.